from huge prehistoric armadillos to the biggest land lizard ever. Here are 20 of the most unusual creatures that went extinct. 20. Bubal Heart Beast Did you know that the ancient Egyptians once used the critter in sacrificial rites? It's also known as the Bubal Antelope and was a common sight in its native North Africa. Through the 19th century, the numbers drastically declined as entire herds were slaughtered by colonial military forces in Algeria. The last Bubal Heart Beast in captivity died at the Paris Zoo in 1923. 19. Great Auk. Now they look an awful lot like penguins, don't they? And they were flightless birds as well. But the two species are unrelated. The Great Auk stood over two feet tall and weighed about 11 pounds. These birds were hunted for over 100,000 years in the North Atlantic for use as food and for fish bait. The population was further reduced due to demand for the down feathers in the 16th century. The last of the creatures in Britain was captured and killed in Scotland in 1840. 18. Laughing Owl now, This bird was native to New Zealand and gets its name from the unusual vocalizations it can make. The sound was described as anything from a series of frequently repeated shrieks to high-pitched chattering to the sound of an accordion. They were known to be plentiful when Europeans arrived in New Zealand, but the introduction of predators like cats and stoats were some factors that led to the birds becoming completely extinct by 1914. 17. Irish Elk Elk are known to be some big animals with impressive antlers, but today's creatures would have antler envy if they saw this species of deer. The Irish Elk had antlers that measured around 12 feet from tip to tip and weighed close to 90 pounds. Overall, it would rank as the third largest known deer, weighing more than 1,500 pounds, and that would put it on par with the Alaskan moose. Now, these elk were scattered throughout Europe across Africa and Asia, and into parts of northern China. It's thought they went extinct around 7,700 years ago due to factors including disease, hunting, and ecological change. 16. Phoberomys patasoni Now, there wouldn't be a rat trap big enough for these rodents, including the tail. They measured around 15 feet long and weighed more than 1,500 pounds, and that inspired the nickname Ratzilla. They were indigenous to the Orinoco River Delta in South America, where they were found until some 8 million years ago. Hard to imagine a rodent that massive, isn't it? Well, you know what? In 2008, an even larger prehistoric rodent was discovered in Uruguay called Josephotagasia, and that critter weighed some 2,000 pounds. 15. Giant Shrimp now, This critter was found in great numbers swimming the planet's seas more than 500 million years ago. While its scientific name is Anomalocaris, it might be better recognized as the abnormal shrimp. And considering these creatures could reach for more than three feet in length, that would certainly make for an abnormal shrimp indeed. Their unusual physical traits included a pair of compound eyes on stalks that had some 16,000 lenses and a mouth shaped like a disc with 32 overlapping plates used to crush prey when it constricted. They belong to a family thought to be closely connected with ancestral arthropods. 14. Hallucigenia Its name is a reference to what is thought to be a hallucinatory appearance. They're only known from fossils found in Canada and China and were estimated to be around 3.5 centimeters long with seven pairs of tentacles, each of which had its own set of claws. An additional three sets of tentacles were located behind the legs. And while they're often perceived as worms, many experts think they are closely connected to modern panarthropods like velvet worms. 13. Moa now, These big flightless birds were native to New Zealand and could reach some impressive sizes, standing some 12 feet tall and weighing more than 500 pounds. Experts say that when New Zealand was discovered by Polynesians in the late 13th century, there were around 58,000 of the big creatures there. By 1445, hunting and habitat destruction helped to drive the moa into extinction, and with them, Haas eagle, which had relied on the birds as a food source. Now, an interesting question about the birds still baffles scientists. Namely, since the moa were flightless and had no vestige of wing bone detected, just how did they arrive in New Zealand to begin with? 12. Wanambi. Enormous snakes in Australia, 
just seem to be a winning combination that stretches back for countless ages, doesn't it? Well, the Wanambi takes its name from the Aboriginal word for Rainbow Serpent, a mythical creature that created landscapes, among other things. The snake would have been a constrictor, non-venomous, and measured nearly 20 feet long. Identified as an ambush predator, experts say that the Wanambi family would have gone extinct in other parts of the world around 55 million years ago. But in Oz, new species of the critter continued to evolve, and those species are believed to have died off over the past 50,000 years or so. 11. Megalania Prisca, also known as the giant ripper lizard, it was native to Australia, where it lived until around some 50,000 years ago. Now, while the Komodo dragon is today's largest extant species of lizard, with the largest verified specimens measuring about 10 feet long and weighing more than 360 pounds. However, experts estimate that the largest specimens of Megalania grew to some 23 feet long and weighed nearly 4,300 pounds, certainly making them the largest terrestrial lizard of all time. 10. Jamaica Giant Gallowasp It was a species of swamp-dwelling lizard that was native to Jamaica, and it shows up in many of that country's fables. Now, little is known about the animal, but the last documented sighting of one occurred in 1840 and is now believed to have gone extinct. The only way to see one now would be at a museum where preserved giant gala wasps are on display. 9. Terror Birds Forest Rossidae is a clade of large, flightless, carnivorous birds that lived less than 2 million years ago. Found in South America, they were the biggest apex predators on that continent across the Cenozoic era and came to be known collectively as terror birds. Growing nearly 10 feet tall, terror birds were quite agile for the size, able to run at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. They had large beaks similar to eagles that they used to strike the prey, and it only took them a single bite to consume animals the size of a dog. Smaller prey was grabbed by the beak and smashed against the ground until it yielded. Now, a universally accepted explanation for their extinction still has not been found, but some experts do say the birds could have survived in a much smaller form as recently as 6,300 years ago. 8. Glyptodon Can you imagine an armadillo the size of a Volkswagen Beetle? Well, that pretty well sums up the size of this creature that lived during the Pleistocene. This huge armored mammal was around 11 feet long and weighed some 4,400 pounds. With its squat limbs and rounded bony carapace, it also had a tail armored in bone. And although it would seem to resemble a turtle, it was actually related to armadillos. Experts think humans may have played a part in Glyptodon's extinction, and that is based on evidence suggesting hunters may have used the carapace as a type of shelter during harsh weather. 7. Horned Gopher Measuring about 30 centimeters long, these unusual creatures represent the smallest mammals with horns, as well as the only known genus of rodent with such a characteristic. They lived until the late Pleistocene epoch, in the present-day Great Plains region of North America. The animals actually had two horns that were large, at least in proportion to the body size. The purpose of those horns has spurred much debate. Of while they likely did not use it for digging, experts do speculate that they could have been used for self-defense or for mating displays. 6. The Dodo Chances are, this is the first creature that springs to mind when you think of extinct animal species. The flightless birds were native to the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean. Its exact appearance is still debated, but generally, the Dodo is thought to have stood about a meter tall and weighed over 18 kilograms. The animal was first documented by Dutch sailors in 1598, and the last sighting of the Dodo occurred in 1662, when it is believed to have gone extinct. 5. Argentavis magnificens The Teratornithidae comprised a group of enormous birds that were native to North and South America. The biggest of the lot is identified as Argentavis magnificens, whose fossils have been found in Argentina and date to the late Miocene. The creature was conservatively estimated to have a wingspan of close to 20 feet and weighed about 160 pounds. Did you know that these big birds are thought to have provided some inspiration for the Thunderbirds legends found in Native American folklore? 
for Tasmanian tiger. Now it had no relation to tigers and it was not any type of felid. Thylacine was a large carnivorous marsupial that lived in Australia, Tasmania, and New Guinea. It got the tiger nickname thanks to the dark stripes on the back. Weighing close to 70 pounds and more than six feet long from nose to tail, it more resembled a medium-sized canine. Now in Oz, the critter died out around 2,000 years ago, but in Tasmania, it managed to avoid extinction until the 1930s. Hunting, along with disease, and the introduction of dogs played roles in thylacine's extinction. Mega Piranha. Now that sounds like the title of a grade B horror movie. And you know what? A film with that title was in fact released in 2010. But this particular critter existed a long time before that around 10 million years ago. Not a whole lot is known about it, but experts say it would have measured more than four feet long and had a double row of zigzag teeth, which would have resembled those of the present-day Paku and Piranha. The Mega Piranha's closest living relative today would be the Black Piranha, which is noted for having a bite force of more than 30 times its own weight. But experts say the prehistoric version had a bite force at least four times more powerful than that, and it would have been comparable to the bite of a smaller, say, 880-pound great white shark. Two, Helicoprion. These shark-like fish are known for their spiral saw of teeth. Their fossils reveal a strange tooth whorl that measures around 18 to 24 inches long and resembles a circular saw. Based on the size of the tooth whorls, experts estimate the creature's length could have approached 40 feet. The whorl is thought to represent teeth found in the creature's lower jaw, and as it matured, Newer and bigger teeth would appear to replace older, smaller teeth within that world. The creature may have used its pliable jaw as a type of whip, snapping it into schools of fish and then feeding on whatever it impaled and retrieved. It would have been common around 290 million years ago in the early Permian period. One, koala lemur. Despite its informal name, this creature was actually a lemur, not a koala. And like all lemurs, they were found in Madagascar. The koala designation came about because of its physical resemblance to the modern day creature. About five feet long and weighing more than 100 pounds, these creatures were arboreal animals with long limbs and toes specialized for grasping trees and for climbing. Experts say that the shape of its skull was similar to that of a rhino something not seen in any other primate. When humans arrived on Madagascar more than 2,000 years ago, they set fire to quickly clear out large areas of land, and that altered the creature's habitat into grasslands, something for which they were not adopted. That, along with other factors including bushmeat hunting and low rates of reproduction, led to their extinction around 500 years ago.